first one obviously avoid touching your face as much as possible avoid handshakes if you can we do the new handshake coronavirus please bring your hands around handshake <laughs> if you have to but try by all means to avoid um, handshakes and hugs because you're at close pro pro proximity use a tissue when you sneeze and discard it wash your hands after that if you don't have a tissue use the crook of your elbow cough into it please still wash your hands it's important So basically, um, it's one use only. Do not share utensils. For example, if you're feeding a baby and you want to taste if the food is hot, once the spoon goes in your mouth, do not use it for the baby. Get another spoon or blowing on the baby's food because again, you'll be passing, if you already have the virus, you'd be passing it on to the baby without realizing that you're doing that. Washing with hot water and soap um, and making sure you rinse it thoroughly with hot water too. For example, we've got maternity nurses and nannies going into homes. In the bathroom, it's best to have the little face cloths because you can have a few in a little basket, the clean ones, and after that, when you've washed your hands, you use one and then put it in the laundry basket to wash, to try and avoid the next person using the same one that you've. We wash it very hot temperature, 60 to 65 degrees will be good to kill the bacteria or hopefully to kill the virus as well. At this time with tea towels and having little ones, I would say really avoid tea towels because that's where your germs multiply. You normally will just use it and leave it there. Remember it's warm. For germs to multiply, it's a warm environment, a wet and moist environment. That's where you get it. So let's get rid of the tea towels and just use paper towels in the kitchen. Recommended for babies every three days to change bedding and for adults once weekly and wash with very hot water 60 degrees will be fine to kill the germ for hospitals as well like for nurses We recommend you wash your uniforms between 60 to 65 degrees The breast milk is safe you cannot spread it through breast milk so if mom does have or has been diagnosed with coronavirus, I, you can still breastfeed, but obviously be careful um, that you don't um, sneeze in front of the baby's face. You keep her away as much as you can. recommend if you're working with babies obviously avoid jewelry at this present moment because you can get the gems really sitting um, on your jewelry so avoid having jewelry but if you do and you cannot remove your wedding ring, it's all good so I'll open my water make sure that the temperature is good and you're not going to burn yourself but most importantly it should be nice warm or hot water so that you can actually kill the bacteria so here we go I've worked my hands now and I am going to go ahead and use a bit of um, and washing so I am rubbing it in between my hands and I'm going into my palm so you're looking at it forming nicely in the hand so I'm getting all around and I'm going to get it in between the fingers as I'm doing like that and rub all here so that you get to the thumb as well and then in between the hands here so you're trying to get everything into the crook of your hand to make sure that you've washed it well if you've got a brush for us with nails, then you're going to use your brush as well to try and get in between the nails so that at least you're washing your hands properly. But if you don't, it's all okay. And then I'll do it for more than 20 seconds. The longer, the better, because what you're trying to do is make sure that you wash all your hands and you wash them properly and avoid infecting anybody else. That's it. So, I'll go under the water like that. And the final thing I'm going to do, unfortunately my tap doesn't have that. So I'm going to use my hand like this and then you go in that way. And for me to close it, I'll use the back of my hand because of the type of tap it is. 
and then I'll go ahead and take a square of paper towel and dry my hands and the last thing you're going to do is bend it but I will always recommend if you're going through a door if it's public area where you are I like to use this as the thing I use to hold to open the doors if I'm not at home of course which I am now 